Cooney, your art Sherpa, and today we're getting froggy in the studio. On the mic is my husband, John. Hey, guys. He's going to hop, hop, hop with the new camera angles. I'm so going to try. We're, we're going to throw some new camera angles at you guys. Um, hopefully, you will tell us that you love them. <laughs> but what we're hoping is it'll make it easier to see elements of the painting. I'm going to be showing you how to paint this adorable, cute, red-eyed tree frog in acrylic paint on a 16 by 20 canvas. More information is in the description. Uh, materials, colors, all kinds of links. The traceable, because drawing should not be the barrier to being creative. It's just one art skill. Yep. And actually, I have a new thought today on that, John. You do? Yeah. Art is not a one-size-fits-all practice. Some things will work for you and some things won't. And that's perfectly okay. That is not a reflection on the artist that you are. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah, I was like, really like that, talking to mom today and that popped into my head, you know, some things are going to gel and some things aren't and that's all good. So anyways, more information in the description, including the full painting of the frog on Pinterest. You can print that out. That'll help you as we're painting along and a traceable. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm. And I'm so into him. He's so cute, isn't he? Yeah. He's so cute. Guess what else? What else? Sippy, sippy. Oh, you imagine. <laughs> you imagine. Just, I feel so, it's like. We could do flowers for spring, but I feel like frogs are spring. Froggy, 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 Where froggy, 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 froggy. Where'd you get the cup at? Um, my Mecca, which is Cracker Barrel. I don't know about any of you, but Cracker Barrel is like my special restaurant. Yeah. Now, this is the this is a special hat. This is a special hat. This, is, this is a is very a, special hat. Yeah, why, why is this bad hat? This okay. is the first hat. This is the first hat. This is the first hat. If Ever. There, if there was a first, this was the first. This was the first. That This was my defiance hat. Because we've been trying to film a video for like... It's not easy to do this. And we've been trying for about a month. Yeah. And stuff, stuff wouldn't sink and we couldn't get the edits. And I kept painting this one painting over and over again. Yeah, it's like It was like trying to have a kid. We <sighs> just kept trying and trying. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> we kept going to the studio. We'd have a lot of fun. But, you know, nothing... Nothing. That is... Such a good analogy right there. That is exactly what it's like starting a YouTube channel. Um, and anyway, so I was like, one day I was in here, I was like, just give me a camera. And he's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know. Grab my hat and I said, I'm going to just do something. And then we painted the littlest hoop. That's that's how it goes. You that's just how it put, started. You just put a silly hat on, start recording, and that's how you... Yeah. That's how you start. That's how you start a YouTube channel. So I'm going to definitely show you how to draw him in. But again, you have the traceable. And we have some important wishes. We always like to add wishes to our can canvas. Absolutely. Wishes, wishes, wishes. All right, I'm going to go over. We have a bunch of wishes. We have, we have some, some important wishes, too. We do. And let's see here. Uh, so we have uh, the last one that I have is from Caroline that you sent you shared to me. Is that right? And her cousin, Ashley? Yeah. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. Carolyn shared that her cousin Ashley ran away, and we wish that she would come home safe and sound. Comes home safe and sound. Now, an important thing here, guys, I'm doing these wishes in um, watercolor pencils so they disappear into the paint. If you yeah. were to do this with graphite, it would just bleed through. And I know Rhea is feeling into the weather. Yeah, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna send some wishes for, for Rhea to feel better. And we're uh, for, for Islay. Uh, is, uh, Islay, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I S L A Y mm -hmm. for release for heart issues. Oh, for a happy, healthy heart. Mm -hmm. Kim Sim would like to put a Welsh, uh, wish out there for Belgium to be safe and sound. I'm the, the entire country. So all right, yeah, hey. Belgium, we love you. Be yeah. safe. Whatever, whatever safe happening, Belgium. Please, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't watch news much. Yeah, it's upsetting. Well, it's just all Creator <laughs> Academy right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, <too. laughs> um, well, this is a really good one for uh, for us. Lace Up would like to wish for fertility for Tony and Leia. Oh, good. For anyone else who's wishing for fertility. Tony and Leia. Tony and Leia. Fertility. Good good one with the frogs, too. Yeah. We highly suggest just putting on a silly hat. Um, yeah, it totally works. And, of course, I would still like to wish that uh, I get to be on the Less Than Famous panel at yes, VidCon. that's a great one. <laughs> I really want to be on that panel. So much. And for, you know, we'll send a special wish out there for Jody. She needs help with her, uh, uh, her handicap van. Oh, yes, definitely. So. <laughs> oh, Luna found something. Come here, Luna. 
Oh, excellent. You can use that. <laughs> All right, go give she, Daddy the she, cap. She got past me. She got the chapstick. She's been, we've been looking for the chapstick she likes. They like the Burt's Bee ones without the mint because they don't like the mintiness on their lips. I don't know if your kids are like that, but that's how my kids are. And in my house, uh, locating chapstick is big news. Okay, clearly. sorry. Nah, it's okay. They got kids too. You guys get it. You have furry family. You've Isla. got little family. Uh, you've got friends that are noisy. You guys get it. It's Isla. That's how you pronounce I -S 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 Isla. Makes sense. I love, I love this mug. Is this not just... I would just really need to show you guys the cuteness that is this mug. Coffee in this cup is happier coffee. Yeah. I feel it in my belly. <laughs> I have got my pain out here. So I'm going to just tell you guys the palette real quick. Okay. I'm doing the um, System 3 again. Oh, yeah? Because I did this in the System 3 and I was... You know, I'm still testing it out. Yeah? So... You know, this is the process of testing it out. So I've got some Cad Red. I guess this is deep. Mm -hmm. That's what they sent me. It was Cad Red Deep. I've got some Ultramarine. Um, I think Cad Red Medium guys would work just fine too. Ultramarine Blue, Thalo Green, Burnt Sienna, Cadmium Orange, Yellow Ochre, Cad Yellow, and Titanium White. And then, of course, I've got my weird fluid black that I like to paint weird black things in with. That makes sense. Because that's what I like, and I get to draw my frog in now. Now, real quick before we jump on, I wanted to say thank you to all of our moderators and light keepers out there, and yeah. for all those wishes that we weren't able to catch on our canvas. We really appreciate you guys putting those on your canvas mm -hmm. and catching those wishes for us. It makes a real big difference to our community, and we really appreciate it. And remember, wishes can be very serious, but wishes can also be very lighthearted. All of the wishes are valid. All of them are valid. All your wishes are valid. And... Yeah, just thank you guys so much for hanging out. Yeah, and, and like, comment, subscribe, and share. My gosh. We definitely. love it, and yeah. we love doing this with you guys live, and we're kind of into it right now, so let's ride that ride. I, I always forget to do to, to ask, and, and, and luckily my moderators are like, John, like, comment, like, comment and subscribe. We have the subscribe. best moderators on YouTube. Best community on YouTube, best moderators on YouTube, bar none. So I go to the other live events. I'm horrified. I feel so bad for the other people. I'm just like, I like people I'm fans of. I go to their live event. Mm -hmm. It's like crazy there. It's just crazy. Yep. I'm just so grateful for We've, our good energy. Love you guys. So All much. right. I'm going to sketch this in. I guess All you're right, going to go, test go. the new camera. Right, I'm so uh, nervous. Let's see. Whoosh. Oh, there. So if oh. you look, find the middle point of your canvas, if you were to go up a couple inches before that and make a mark. And if you were to find the middle point of your bottom of your canvas and come over to the right about four inches and make a mark. And you were to draw a curved line down. This is your forward leaf. It was shaking just a little bit because I, I lightened it up. Oh, okay. Forward leaf. Now, here's the deal, guys, on this. Yes, we're going to put feet in, but we're going to do them last. And this is a trick we have to, like, deal with the pigment on the paint. Yeah. That way we can get the nice smoothie streaks in on our leaves. Yeah. But not have issues with the pigment on our paint. Yeah. Now, dead in the middle here... I'm going to put a little mark, and I'm going to do another little arc, and that, that is that leaf. How is that? Has, are they seeing it? They I do. Just, I have to have a belief. They like the, the angle. It's just a little dimmer, so, and it's, it's camera quality. Oh, and you know the lights behind me aren't on, and that always makes a difference in the room. A, a little bit. Let me try it. All right. Okay. So, uh, he has a plan. I don't know why I even question the plan, because I can't turn on anything in the studio, and I don't know why I'm like, I'm making a middle mark. Ah, that was less of them. Felt that. There they are. I don't know if that helps. It makes it warmer, that's for sure. Okay. So, we got to get some new cameras. We know it. New cameras. <laughs> Somewhere between, like, growing and... That's the good thing about the YouTube channel growing is at some point it's going to result in some new cameras because we think people will send us some. <laughs> okay, so you've got the middle of the canvas, which kind of lines up with your little crease here. Yeah. Right? And just above this little leaf line here, right? Yeah. So over here in this right corner, I'm going to make a little circle. This is the first circle of his eye. This is about the size of a bottom of a Coke can. Okay. Right? Not the jumbo Coke cans. And I'm going to come over on a level line. Eyes are level. Unless something has gone really wrong. Eyes are level. 
Knowing that, though, means that when you're playing with the character of something, you can get some real quality by taking them off what's expected. Now I'm going to make a nice kind of hill line. Can you guys see that hill line off the eye socket there? Yes. It's going to come to a little valley. And then I'm going to make another one right here. And that's how we get the top of his cute little froggy face. Then I'm going to do a little curve in and then out. Kind of like an S here. Yeah. And then I'm going to come up, 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 right at the middle line of his face. I'm going to go up, and then I'm going to go down, and then he's going to have his little froggy smile that goes that way. He's a happy tree frog. Happy frog. He's as happy as Blendy is on the mixing board. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Blendy loves that mixing board. Blendy just loves to come out and play. He does. He likes to come out and do things. He's the cutest thing ever. I have to tell you, this chameleon has really won my heart over. All right, so I'm coming down on my little lip, and I'm making a little jawline here, and then I'm just arcing this in and joining the leaf. Now, we're going to have a little hand that's peeking here. It's going to cover some of this up, and a hand that's peeking here. It's going to cover some of this up. But to get our nice, let's come off this eye and make a nice little back. To get our nice little leaf lines, we're going to have to paint those in after the leaves are in. I experimented with both. Where are you going? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. You, I don't know where I'm going. You, you can't talk to the other camera angle. I know. It's too I know. high on you. It's too high. Look at it. It Look is. Up Look up I here. can't even reach it. Here's what's funny. <laughs> I can't even. This is how completely unjust height is in our family. Mr. Six Foot Four has put the camera at a height I can't even do anything with. Nope. It's, it's soon it will be a remote. It'll be a robot camera soon. A robot camera. Now I'm painting Simply Simmons today. Big shocker, because I like them. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's happened here. Yes, I love that Rachel sends me boxes of stuff. I do, but I actually just like these brushes. So here's Goldilocks, my number 10 bright. Uh, yes. Um, you can definitely, I haven't seen the number 10 on Amazon, but we have some links down there mm -hmm. to materials, and, and there is some, there's other sizes. There's other sizes. Other sizes? You know what I forgot? You're going to really mock me. Water? Yes. <laughs> All right. I forgot my water. Why don't you talk to our friends for a minute? Okay. So one wonderful thing about acrylic paint you know is it's water-based. <laughs> and so it would be good to have, say, a cup of water to moisten your brush and art game. <laughs> oh, art game. Oh, guess what we could do? We could start art game. Art game. Art game. So the rules of art game, I'm going to give you, and John's going to give you five words over the course of this video. And, you know, you can doodle on it during the video, but try not to spend more than 30 minutes on the doodle because we don't want you guys to get too drilled down, too crazy about it. Because the whole purpose of the doodle and art game is to sort of relax into your creativity and start getting those little imagination wires to percolate. There is a group on Facebook for art game, and you can also just post anywhere. John has been loving the pictures. I have seen some stuff that just, oh, you're amazing. I'm so sorry, babe. Cannot believe I forgot water. So forgot art game. So for my first word on art game, I'm going to say wine glass. Wine glass. Wine glass. All right. All right. So that's what I'm doing to y'all. You're, you're going to say <laughs> wine glass. Wine no. glass, huh? I'm going to get my brush moist, but not soaking wet. I've got a towel over here in case it is. Oh. I just want a little moisture in the brush. And, and little brush Josh posted his creeper, too. So you it, posted your creeper. You did that's a creeper. And shout out to another little brush, uh, <laughs> Serena. Hi, Serena. Hi, yes, Josh. And Hi. Little, and, and little brush, Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. Is that Bonnie M? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bonnie Stockton. <laughs> oh, Bonnie. Bonnie Stockton. <laughs> There's. We got some awesome Bonnies we have here. Lots of Bonnies. And they're little brushes at heart. And for Bonnie sure. M's there too. <laughs> Every all the Bonnies are here. All the here. Bonnies are there. So. Notice what I'm doing. I'm pulling a little paint out from my green and a little paint out from my brown. It creates this sort of little mix right here. I haven't mm -hmm. mixed them together even, interestingly enough. And I'm going to, on a diagonal, start just putting this on the canvas. Maybe I'm going to get a little more of the green, a little more brown. So sometimes it'll be more greeny, sometimes it'll be more brown. And it's going to mix on the canvas. Yep. And what I'm getting is I'm making sure I don't have a really pure pigment of either the brown or the green. Because that can be too much when you don't want it. Yeah. 
And this is sort of streaky. This is sort of like, if you're thinking in photography, this is that faded background. Oh, yeah? Right? That's far away on the stop gap. The stop. All right. Coming around him, though, you might want to take your brush on the edge and paint around him. I don't know where to stand for the new camera angle. You're good. You're Am good. I good? Yeah. It's so tall, I don't even have to think about it, isn't no, it? No, if I, if, I, if I have to, I can... Uh, Josh is waving back at you. Josh is waving back at you? At That's you. Awesome. At me? <laughs> 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 I love live. <laughs> well, I mean, no one's waving at me because I can't see me. <laughs> we got to get you on camera at no. some point. Everybody's got to get to meet you. No. That's why we're stunt hands. I think one of the funniest things I wish I could share with you guys is John and I watching YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all mystery science theater 3000 up in here <laughs> it a little it a little bit is because <laughs> we we have that um chromecasty thing yes we do and we like to watch the youtube and then sometimes john catches stuff and there and he'll be like you gotta see this <laughs> and we get into it so i'm just trying to keep that brush directionality and an angle here why are you doing that well it creates some implied motion in the painting uh, little drama. Uh, Remember, we want no drama in our lives, but lots of drama in the art. That's true. Actually, I think this is where artists really have it down. Is like we drop all the drama in our lives and we put all of our drama in the art. Mm. John's going to say that's not actually true. <laughs> 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 that there's plenty of drama off the canvas. I, I don't need to say it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing that Nam tour in the top ten picks that oh, we yeah. put up. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, let me you know. I did a, I did another one of my fast forward walkie through things, so I'm, I'm in fly throughs. John's fly throughs. Yeah, it is definitely nausea cam, but it's really cool when you get to see the show. You know, even if you couldn't be there, we like to share that stuff with you. And we know we dropped a lot of videos on y'all yesterday. Hopefully, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, it's like we're throwing videos at them all day. <laughs> they just got done with Captain Hook and the Disney Club, and then we're like, hey, why don't you take a tour around Namta and see all the new products I'm excited about? And it's like, woo! So hopefully that was okay, though I have to say that render pad really did blow my mind. There's a, There are some things I found that Elmer's glue gun, there were things I found I am crazy about. So did, have you had a chance to look at any of the art game pictures from yesterday? I have. I've got to, I've got to get, I'm having some trouble with my like and love button on Facebook. Oh, yeah? Actually, Facebook is giving me a lot of trouble. Can't scroll back to older messages. Can't love things when I want, like, will, like, stick me in a like. And I'm like, I don't like. I love. And now this person's going to think that I love this other person, but I didn't love them, but I do love them. But it won't let me push the love button. And no matter how many times I move the cursor over the thing, it's not giving me a love option. So I have some feelings about this. <laughs> it's been very stressful. <laughs> I like that Facebook has given me um, other options besides the ubiquitous like. Mm -hmm. But the f it really needs to function because it applies new values to the comments. And I feel like I'm under pressure now yeah. from Facebook to, uh, you know, and once you start loving, you've really just got to love. Mm. Ooh, we have another e e uh, another little brush, Eli, with us today. Hi, Eli. Hi, Eli. What are you doing today, Eli? And are you painting this frog with us? Mm -hmm. And Betty is just coming back to rejoin us today too. Betty. So hi. Hi, Betty. I'm I'm going over there and just catching up on all of the uh, the paintings that are out there in art game. And the foxes are looking so. I cool. know they. This group They're can fox. Right, there were some cartoony fox playing with yo-yos. There were some like foxy foxes in caves, and there was, there's was, like, some some there's anime a group. Foxes. Some of the people are writing stories or poems to go with the. They're like creating a whole story I, poem. I, I I like I like the I like how there's uh there's like a story happening in on, in all of these. Yeah. Me too. I really do. It really makes me happy. Yeah, uh, there's one that has a, a happy little girl tooth outside a cave. <laughs> that was really great. <laughs> I'm collecting these up, and I'm hoping you'll make like a sli slideshow of a bunch of them from mm -hmm. different games. You know, like yeah. you do. Like you do. I do all sorts of stuff. So they're saying, yeah, they liked the walkthrough, the NAMTA walkthrough. 
definitely thought that was pretty good. It was pretty fun. And again, some of those things were amazing. Like totally like I'm going out and getting them. Yeah. I If I could have, there was a lot of people in the Cron Osh booth. If they'd been a little less manned, I'd have grabbed stuff and run. Oh, they had a huge booth too. They had a lot of really cool stuff in there. Yeah. And there's like it a whole like, embarrassing moment where I was like having a little trouble with Switzerland and, <laughs> and Sweden <laughs> in my brain. <laughs> Well, they're both S words in Europe. I just owned it. I was like, it's an American thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. You've been to one of them. I know. <sighs> That's all right. It's, a, you know, I'm you do what my, you can I'm do. My theme song. You do what you can do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they were so patient with me. <laughs> oh, little brush Lila's here, too. Hi, Lila. She's home. She's home a little under the weather. Mm, feel better. With mom painting, I am assuming. Well, that's kind of nice yeah. to sit there. My kids love it when they get to paint with me. Yep. They do. They would much rather be home um, painting with me than, you know, say at school. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do here is yep. I'm going to take my number eight bright. It's just a slightly smaller bright. You could use your 10. You could use whatever bright you did the background in with. Yeah. And I'm going to pull a little of my... Um, Thalo green and a little, just a small amount of my cad yellow. I don't want to do too much because, guys, he's got to be such a bright green to show. Yeah. So it's important. I'm going to also come over here and get a little ultramarine. This will be the hardest little work that you've got on the whole painting just because there will be so many different mixings. Gotcha. A little of the ultramarine and a little of the thalo. Oh, Lisa from India is her first time attending. Hi. Hi, Lisa from India. That's pretty cool. Hi. I didn't come visit you. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what kind of frogs they have in India. Uh, cool ones, I, I imagine. Yeah, they got to have different kind of frogs than we have here. Well, yes, because this would be North America. <laughs> so we I have some type of I mean, North like, American frog. and All kids chase frogs, right? Right, like around the world. Around the world. For sure. And so I, I'm just, you know, it just dawned on me. I'm like, I wonder what kind of frogs kids in India chase. Because, I mean, they obviously chase frogs, but what kind of frogs do they chase? Yeah. I'm going to go look it up. Go look it up. <laughs> Not right now, but I mean later. <laughs> this is what we need, like, uh, we need an um, a, a, a intern. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, I need to know Intern. what kind of frogs. <laughs> Tell us what frogs are <laughs> proper, in India. And let's usage. put a picture of them in. And India is not small, so there's probably like a whole bunch of different I love that. India is not small. No, it's not. It's a big, giant continent, right? <laughs> <laughs> a country. Country. Yeah. yeah. But it's, uh, yeah, it's huge. So that'd be really cool. I'm going to have to check it out. John's like, no. You should know what you're talking about. Let me help you. I don't. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, it's okay. But we're talking and we're painting. <laughs> so w some things I'm doing here to notice is that, so I'll pick up a little of my ultramarine blue and a little of my thalo. You can see the load on the brush right here. Yeah. All right. Maybe I can show it here too. Oh, yeah, you can. Right, look, there's it, the load. It's blue-greeny. Blue and green. And then this is brush directionality too, in which I've got kind of a curved line, right? little bit of a curved line and I'm just that one's like I get a little more green definitely mix it up right and it's about the bend to it it's about the bend to it now you'll notice I'm using a lot less water on these paints one of my tips is is that um, the like this is a mid grade paint and then down to student paints i use less water in these paints just to to put them out and that's mm. just a little tip that you can do is use less water oh, okay cool on pro paints you can use a little more whoops that's okay i had a little white and that was fun and you'll thin it but on student and mid grade paints you'll want to thin less so Donna says that just she just got off the phone with Justin on FaceTime, and he's out of bed feeling a little better. Oh, yay! We've been putting some wishes in for Justin. So hopefully he'll get some breakfast, and we'll all have a better morning. I grabbed a little of my yellow, guys, and I'm just kind of doing some streaks through. Can you see that? It's just okay. a little bit. It's a touch, but it's there. You know it's there. These things are there. Sorry, I'm very weird. <laughs> I get so weird. 
All right, I'm gonna grab maybe a little yellow ochre and my phthalo green. Little yellow ochre and my phthalo. So I look over into the chat, and and there um, and there's some frog talking going on. There's frog talking. Yeah, there's some. There's apparently I'm not sure where. There's some frogs that are coated in poison. Some frogs that spit poison, and an agreement that all camels spit. <laughs> Dude, you know what? All camels do spit. I, you know what? I think we've all been spit on by a camel. Well, I think that anyone who's been near a camel has, has been, been spit, spit on. on. So I think that's where it comes from. That the actually, agreement. you kind of just want to go. Why did you even start riding those things? You're so obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if something spit on me, I'd be like done with them. Like, leave you alone. I imagine, imagine they're a lot like horses, only with the ability to spit. Because I mean. I knew some horses that if they, if a horse could spit, it would have spat on me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I so do. I imagine that camels just figured it out. <laughs> like we're gonna spit on all these people. It's just, it's probably they just see it as being fair. <laughs> You're like, you put this on me, I'm gonna spit on you. I'm grabbing a little of this yellow ochre and this yellow green, and you can kind of see how. This leaf being a little bit brighter pulls it forward from that leaf being a little bit cooler. Yeah. See how that's nice? That's nice. <laughs> now, this is a student grade paint, right? No, this is mid grade. Mid grade paint. Okay. This is a um, mid grade paint. Um, it, so it's, you know, and, and, that, and that's, that's how it's rated, but I'm still kind of working that out. And yeah, as I paint with it. So they were, there were some people asking here uh, just how that's. Uh, uh, how how it's working for you? They weren't sure. They saw that there, it's not covering quite as. as no, but working. in this particular case, so here's what's nice about this, and it, it and it's an interesting thing that I always like to get into, which is that sometimes it, it's not a fault; it's a feature. Yeah. So it is a little thinner in the pigment, but right now I'm making that work for me with brush directionality and the way I'm layering the paint and the way I'm mixing it is giving me a particular effect I really wanted for this painting. Which right. I wouldn't have gotten as well, believe it or not, with propane. Right. Huh. So, you know, it's, it's not that one is like, so. Well, I mean, you know, there's definitely differences between the paint. But you can get great paintings. This is my point. This frog is a great painting. You can get a great painting with lots of different products. Yeah. That's the paint with your budget. Paint within your budget. Okay. I could probably pull this frog off in temper if I had to. <laughs> I'm going to say our, our second word. Our second word. Is camel. Camel. Wine glass camel. Oh, this is going to be a day. Isla suggested that, so I figured we'd go with that. So I'm going to just keep pulling a little of this. Just thalo here. Just the thalo now finishing out this nice leaf. Simona says that she does like that. She liked the, the NAMTA video. Thought that was, Actually, there's lots of people who said that they like that NAMTA video. I'm so glad because we, we were like, it was a weird thing for us to go to, and we were hoping that you guys would like it shared. Yeah. There is, we're going to try to go to the one in Salt Lake next year, but there's yep. also this one called um, Creative World in Frankfurt, Germany. Yes. And we're thinking of going to that one yeah. if we, we can swing it. Go f visit our friends and maybe... Run, run around the Nuremberg Ring once, or twice. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay. You know. Yeah. See how all that goes over there. Oh, yes. Rachel's here from 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 Dollar and Rowney. Rachel. Say hi, Rachel. <laughs> Wave at everybody, Rachel. <laughs> That's so cool. Rachel can ask answer your oh, paint and urgent questions. Absolutely, pounce on her. Just get it right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she really can. I'm sitting here scrolling for it. I'm like, where is she in the chat? And I see, I don't see Rachel. Don't see Rachel. And I see, well, there's Dollar and Rally. Oh, well, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just tip this off here. I wonder if Rachel will be at creative world in frankfurt oh. next year that would be the question we could all get schnitzel together <laughs> we schnitzel up There's okay i have to do this all rachel look at my mug <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. it's so fun you guys were funny at, at, at the show yeah well I, I feel like rachel gets it yeah she herself is an artist, and she loves art materials. That's, again, what we kept seeing over and over and over at the materials shows. The people there love art materials, love art, yeah. just across the board. Mm -hmm. 
across the board. So that was really, you know, heartening. You know, nothing like, you know, corporate craziness. It was just really like people who had a real passion for what they do. I'm going to put out a little more of my burnt sienna. So MoMA suggested uh, a good word. Uh -huh. and it's a little complex for today. So I'm going to take it as a, as a, uh, an, a, as a inspiration. Okay. And I'm going to and, and say bells as our third word. Because bells. You know, gestures, bells. Gestures have bells on their heads. They do. Yeah. Bells. Can I ask for a favor? Yeah, I'm sorry. You want me to microwave your coffee? Yeah. Of course. It, the cup pulls the heat out of the coffee. Its cuteness is, is there. But you know what I mean? Like this particular ceramic pulls the heat out of the coffee. I have some like really cool ceramic mugs made by, you know, ceramic artists. And that never does it. But frog cuteness had to be, you know, acknowledged. Oh, Rachel, this is, uh, no, this isn't, her. that isn't her. She's right here. This is the official Goldilocks. Everybody else knows. I got to give her some TLC later today. It's like uh, a lot of fun. Oh, everybody, my mom, it, Ginger, is going to be on later tonight. She's got a live tonight. And I definitely recommend she doesn't always leave her lives up. So if you can catch those when she's live, that's really helpful because sometimes she leaves them up. I'm always like, Mom, leave them up. But she doesn't always leave them up. So if you can catch it, you should catch it. I don't know what she's doing tonight. Probably something awesome. She's pretty energetic this morning. Just talking about Mom's live later tonight. She's pretty hopped up and energetic this morning. So it's going to be a ride for you guys. All right, Goldilocks. Goldilocks. Well, I've got right now, I have a number eight. No, I mean you. Oh, I'm Goldilocks? <laughs> Had to have your coffee warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pull out a little ultramarine blue into my burnt sienna. And this is going to give me a gorgeous, fun gray uh -huh. that I really, really like. And then I'm going to pull a little white into it. And you can see I get this great, warm gray. And I'm going to paint all under here his little, little frog belly. Mm -hmm. His little frog and belly. He's so cute. Come here, little cute frog. I'm <laughs> kiss you all up. I like him. You know, it's like I can paint a tiger and be all snuggly with that tiger, but in real life I can't. <laughs> mm -mm. No, it's like uh, when doing the crocodile alligator search, I saw oh. some, some people brushing teeth. No. No, and like. No, that crocodile and those alligators need to clean their own teeth. <laughs> and we had a bunch of people who were like, it doesn't really matter who's eating you. <laughs> Once they're <laughs> eating you. There's a bunch of messages about that. So I'm just putting this down here. Now I'm going to take this up the side. Right here. Up the side. It's so fun. Up the side. Woo! Having a good time, guys. Now we're gonna take we're gonna do his bright bright green, which oh, yeah. is gonna be this cad yellow in a smidge of smoke. You can see just a tiny amount. Oh, that really kapows it. Yes, it's kapows. And you'll see he really jumps. He does. From the background. Wow. That, that little cad yellow just kapows him. Kapow. Well, he's a little bit brighter than the world around him, right? Uh, uh, yeah. If I could sing it and we could play it, we would be like playing all of my favorite Kermit songs. <laughs> but I can't. They won't let us. That I would have done like uh, Rainbow Connection mm -hmm. and Not Easy Being Green. We would have had a whole playlist oh, up man. in here. whole playlist up in here. Wow. What? I just looked over. There's 250 people painting froggies here along with us. You're painting froggies. You're getting your frog get on. Their, they're here to get their froggy on too. Get your froggy on. Doesn't it? Isn't it fun to get your froggy on? It is. And when we have another little brush with us. Phoenix. Phoenix? Hi, Hi Phoenix. Hi. Hi, Phoenix. 
And for parents at home, I really think um, this system, Three Paint, is a good um, family paint. Like, especially if you're painting with kids. Yeah. I think this is a very, very good paint because you don't have to worry about like any of the cadmium issues that you might in the pro lines. Yeah. Right. And also in that learning curve of kids where maybe the little paint is coming out too much or you're going through a little more, it won't hit your budget as hard, but they're mm -hmm. still going to get a good non frustrating result. Yeah. I think that's really hard is to find a paint um, to paint with with kids too. Like when you're doing a whole family paint. That um, gives everybody a good non-frustrating result. Yeah. And, you, and you're having a non-frustrating result. I'm these. having yeah. no frustration. No fr it's a frustration free. Right. And and how your pigment load's been pretty decent. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's again, I'm totally spoiled a lot of the times, but it, and this is the point, which is that you know you can make everything work you've just got to settle into what your paint is and you've got to get the best paint that your budget allows yeah you don't want to be stressing your budget out you know Pre and, and predictable is another good thing predictable right? but it, but again it's it's always like companies that have been in business for a while that have websites that have customer service that care about your experience and and that's why you know you see us experimenting with this paint right here, and you yeah. see Rachel out here giving us a lot of support, and we're really yeah. appreciated it because we want to find paints that are good for you guys. Yeah. So. And this is available in other places. Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm pretty excited about. That oh, really popped up, popped, popped. Didn't it pop, pop, pop? Yeah, Ruby He's rotted up in there. Ruby rod. <laughs> and we're not even done popping them. No. That's so crazy. We're going to let All them dry right. a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to tap this out some. And I'm going to put in a little base for his eye. I'm going to do something kind of crazy. Oh, yeah? I'm going to take a little ultramarine over to my Cad Red. Now, shockingly, normally I would get a gray, but in this particular case, I'm getting a purple. Hmm. Why is that? I'm going to assume that the deep runs to the cool side of the, um, the uh, medium is warm and the deep is cool. Mm. You can pretty much always guess that. If it's making a purple, it's cool. Gotcha. And I'm going to put this in. That's definitely purple. Right. Which is why I didn't have to put any dogs in and out. Because these two did this. <laughs> if you have cad red medium and ultramarine, go ahead and put your purple out. Because you're never going to mix those two and get purple, ever. <laughs> <laughs> but just know it's not you. Gotcha. I may have to come in, uh, pump a little green around his eye. We have to sort of see. I hear my little daughter singing. <laughs> yeah, she is. Singing. She likes to sing. She's always like, I have a song in my heart. Now, I'm pulling a little more water than I normally would, but that's because my studio is so hot and the lights are so bright that um, I'm definitely, definitely dealing with the paint curing and drying on me in the studio. Because I usually paint way faster than my paint dries. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got my nice, deep base for what will be these fabulous... Oh, too much water on my brush. Oop. Just grab it with a towel. That's what you do. Oh, okay. No, we're, we're, we're getting to that place where we're going to need to have another word. Another word? Another word. Hmm. I think it's my time. Oh, is it your turn? It's my turn. All right, fine. <laughs> what <laughs> word <laughs> would you <laughs> like? Net. 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 Okay. Wait, no, we've done net, haven't we? I, we have done net. Okay. We can't do net, so then I'm going to say ball. Have we done ball? <laughs> I, uh... I don't think so. I can't ball. remember a ball. All ball. right. Ball is in play. Ball. The ball is in play. The ball right. is in play. All right. We're going to let it go. <laughs> so while all this is drying, we now have the underpainting in, right? I'm going to come and I'm going to get a little of my yellow ochre in my thalo. And interestingly enough, a little of my titanium white, right? And I'm going to come on my leaf, very light pressure, 
and make little streaks coming down. Just a little bit arcing in. It should be skipping over the canvas. It should um, be allowing a lot of the paint underneath to show through. This is definitely a dry brush. So I have water on my brush and I'm just trying to create those leafy streaks. Do you see those? I do. Makes them feel like those big banana leaves. Because so he lives in a beautiful tropical paradise that's completely protected and ecologically, you know, um, cloistered away from everything. And so he's just got his lovely banana leaves. And definitely watch your brush directionality here so you want it to curve. You want your brush strokes to follow the curve. I might even get a little cad yellow on this one into my phthalo and a little white just to pull some, just a couple, not a lot because we're going to have to put this bright color here. But you're just trying to create a couple streaks, banana leaf streaks. And I wanted to say thank you to Elizabeth who posted up specially so that I could see yesterday's art game picture up on our, our uh, art game page. Did she? So I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you very much. So Donna would also like to know. Donna. Hi, Donna. This elusive Goldilocks. Could you tell me more? What exactly is she? So um, Goldilocks has a, she's a family story now. <laughs> My mom, um, as you guys know, came to paint with us over Thanksgiving for a Thanksgiving painting. And we were going to do nutcrackers and mom was definitely going to do her own thing. So she's doing her own thing, and we get through the day. It was a long day. We we painted, we glittered, and we blacklighted. All it was in the same day. All in the same day, and we painted. Mom had a blast. We all had a blast. She cleans up, and she goes. And somewhere in the next couple of days, I'm just painting. I think you can see the video. I'm painting, and I'm like just painting with this brush, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, what's this? <laughs> like, this is just working better than all the brushes. And I'm like, it's got this great stiff bristle. It's pushing the paint into the canvas. I'm really loving it. And I look at it and I realize it's not my brush. It's one of mom's brushes that she left behind. But then I'm like, well, she did abandon it. Yep. And if you leave it behind, it, it's, it's like you we couldn't have, love it that much. Clearly, we, we use the same, we use maritime law here. So <laughs> totally. <laughs> if, <laughs> if I wash the brush, it's my brush. So this is, this is the number 10 bright. And now this is a... This Extra is a, firm filament number 10 bright. That's the key. From Simply Simmons. And it does have to be the extra firm. The regular ones don't do it for me, but the extra firms totally make me so happy because they have enough stiffness, not too much stiffness. That's why she's Goldilocks. She's just right. Enough stiffness to make sure the paint works into especially these economical canvases. Not as big a deal on a Fredericks, but on these economy packs of canvas from the craft stores, you need a good brush that's going to put your paint into the canvas. Otherwise, you're going to be like, I can't get paint on this canvas because it mm -hmm. fights back. So I call mom up and I'm like, hey, mom, uh, I need to get uh, this brush that you probably didn't leave at my house that I now have custody of. What brush is that? <laughs> and she explains to me how the Dollar and Rally rep, Michelle, yeah. was at Jerry's Artorama um, putting in the display. And this was a brush that she gave my mom to test. And she didn't think it was available for sale because she couldn't find one like this in the display case. And I'm like, wow, they need to just make this brush in mass and distribute it across the country. Right? <laughs> so there's this whole thing. And then I was talking to you guys all the time about the brush. And um, I took people on a tour through Texas Art Supply and we touched the brushes. And then Susan got a hold of Rachel and Rachel sent me a bunch of brushes. And now she's here in chat with us. <laughs> now she's here in chat with us. Number 10, Simply Simmons Bright. And it's just what I, it's mine now. <laughs> Mom accepts it. She's completely relinquished um ownership you can ask her on her live that, show tonight that and she hides it when she comes over i do hide it when mom comes over and, just and, in case and, and so you know we have thanks to rachel two very beautiful brand new in package goldilockses yes <laughs> that have not been opened because she's still using the one and you can always send more because and the number one thing rachel could tell us is who currently has them in stock because that's, that's the thing we are people are like it's sold out here it's sold out here it's sold out here I think the brush guys have it in stock a lot. Yeah. I hear good things about them. So, not to put Rachel on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? We need to have, we want more. <laughs> I'm going to take a little, I'm going to take my Goldilocks here now that we've been talking about her. All right. And I'm going to take a little of my Thalo green over to my Cad Yellow and mix quite a light green. 
Yeah. Like new leaf spring green. And the number eight and number twelve are both good options if you can't yeah. get the, the yeah. ten. Yeah. If you if you can't get the ten, I just really love the ten. Now I'm gonna take this bright yellow that I mixed. So that was a little of the cad yellow and the uh, phthalo green and a little titanium white making this very bright new leaf green. The trick about adding the white is it, it helps it pop. Yeah. And then I'm going to say there's going to be a little nose here. We're just creating a little, a little drama for Mr. Froggy Pants. See, I can scrumble it in. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's, I love you that. scrumble. I can scrumble. Is that a... Rumble in the scrumble. And I'm going to make a nice little light patch that's is going to be the nose here. And then I'm going to come along the back here. I don't want to take out all my deep green. I just want to add a little of this. Gotcha. All right. We want some deep green. So there that is. And that gives him some dimensionality. Does it not? I feel like it does. Back to my number eight. So I'm going to take, make sure that my number eight is uh, damp but dry. So I wipe it off on my towel. I'm going to take some just pure white. And just on this lip, I'm going to follow along this little lip here. Uh -huh. Making little downward brush strokes, very light pressure. Right? See this here? Yeah. This little lip highlight. Just add a little lip highlight right there. And maybe along here. We're just creating this here. And then maybe just a little bit on the outer right side. Just a little bit right there. So Shelly is asking. Hi, is, Shelly. Is this paint more difficult to spread and blend compared to Liquitex or Golden? No. No, it spreads and blends just about the same. Um, it's different, but it's not difficult, I guess is what I'm saying. It, okay, so, um... Different, maybe a different mixing, different uh, mediums, or... You know, the thing is, is uh, pain is like a musical instrument. I think this is what I like. They all have kind of personalities, yeah, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Because they're hand-manufactured, they're handmade, everybody's got a formula. Everybody's got a thing. So when I'm looking at a paint... What I'm looking for is I don't want it to glump. I don't want it to break down. I don't want it to do this thing when you're pulling it out, areas of pigment clump, and then it goes completely thin. So what I'm looking for is a consistency in behavior. These are not exactly the same as Liquitex or Golden. They're really not. Yeah. But I'm not looking for them to be that. What I'm looking for them to be is reliable. Predictable. Predictable. Right? So that you can get to know that paint, and it gives you a consistent result anything that gives you consistent result that isn't breaking down on the canvas and isn't lifting up i'm looking to see does the layer i put on underneath lift up right that's a problem in in um student paints um a brand i will not name does that regularly yeah it lifts up and you you guys can't have that that makes the painting process impossible right and again we're not concerned about archivalness. We don't need this paint to last 500 years. We just need to be consistent to work with. Yeah. All right. I'm going to pull a little of my ultramarine. And I hope that answers the question. Yeah. And my burnt sienna. And my moderators. I love them all so much. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, I ha they're reminding me. Please comment like. Our, and, and like and subscribe. We really do appreciate <laughs> it. It does make a big difference to the YouTube analytics system, and it does let you let, let them know that you guys are out here and enjoying and watching the show. And anything that we can do, really, please make comments. We, you know, yeah. we're constantly trying to figure out how to make the show better for you. Yeah. You know, let me know how you like that uh, that third angle there. Mm -hmm. when we move the camera in. Tell me in the comments how that's working out for you. We want another fifth one that goes up close, but we're working these things out. Yep, we're working on getting <laughs> another another camera angle in here too now. So. See, the other thing when you guys are looking at paint companies, right? Because, um, now Rachel can correct me, but I believe that Dollar and Rally goes all the way up to um, a pro paint. I think they actually have a line that's considered professional. And then all the way, they have a line that's in Walmart. Yes. But here's the thing about this. Um, and 
I'm not paid by them. I'm not their spokesman. I just am looking all the time for companies that are reliable. Mm-hmm. You, you know, and you guys know I have companies I like. If you're in Australia, dude, I love Matisse. Yeah. Love them. Um, it's about their customer service and it's about their commitment to what they make and it's about their looking to stand behind a product. Yeah. And, and we've had a lot of really great support from the people at Dollar and Rowney trying yeah. to make sure that we can learn about these paints for you guys. So we think that that's, you know, anybody who wants to go through the trouble of helping us learn about the paint so we can tell you we want to take the time to learn it. So Exactly. And also we'll answer your questions when you write them sans Sherpa. <laughs> <laughs> I like that too. So I'm going to come along here and I'm going to make okay. a little curve line. They're, now they're, they're on. Tapered down. I, I got to give them another word. Oh, okay. Do you want to, you, you going to pick the last word? No, you pick the last word. I just did, I did one. You, you could do this last one, though. I do this last one, then? Yeah. <sighs> Daisy. Daisy. Oh, that's a good word. Daisy. Okay. So All right. Daisy. So we have this beautiful little Arion ham shaded in. Yes. Right? We like that. And, you, and you've outlined him just a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was... Yeah, I saw that there. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll do that again. Um, so what I did is I pulled a little of my burnt sienna into my ultramarine. Okay. I'm on the edge here. I'm coming around the lip, and then I just taper. I release my pressure and lighten it, and then I just come down here. Yeah. And that just gives him a little shadow, and I did a little line under his lip here. Just a little bit. Just gives me a little bit. Now I've got a teeny tiny little number two. <laughs> number two bright. And I think at some point I'm going to make a little video of my the brush setup. Oh, yeah. Like how many brushes you need and what their sizes are because I think we need that. Yeah, we'll do another. So I'm going to come up here to the top of the little nose here and I'm going to make a little C brush stroke. See that? I do. And then a, a little shallower C brush stroke and that's his nose. This is almost a comma. This is a little C. It's a slight difference, but that's how you get a little perspective there. Yeah. And you want that. I do. You do. Now, interestingly enough, I'm going to get, uh, this is a number six. Don't show Rachel because I popped the coating. Because <laughs> Lord knows we do that. And I'm going to paint in the feet now. Now, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a guide when I'm painting these in. And you guys can chalk these in if you're not ready to paint them in. Yeah. Actually, let me just show you the chalking and then the painting. Okay. Right, so I've got some kids' chalk here. I'm going to, right underneath this crease, I'm going to make one line that comes a little past the halfway mark on the leaf. Then I want another shorter line that comes out to the left at an angle, and another shorter line that comes out to the right at an angle. I'm going to make a little smile at the bottom of each toe and then we're going to curve those in kind of like a teardrop. Curve those in like a teardrop. So if you think about it, there's a circle at the bottom of each of these, isn't there? And it curves in and then you're going to just make an arc at the top and that's going to bisect into his leaf into his chin. So that's what we're trying to, to paint or sketch in is this little foot shape. Right? Little foot shape. Thank you so much, Luna. Luna's telling me I'm doing a good job. And I'm going to paint this in white. Just white. Now, even if you get golden paint, right, cadmium yellow is going to have a lot of transparency. Certain colors are going to have a lot of transparencies. You can check that on the jars. And whenever you're fairly sure that your color is going to have a lot of transparency and you're painting over a darker color, go ahead and put it back in white first. So in other words, say you went with your friend to a painting party place. Yeah. 
and they give you whatever that painting party paint is that they have at their establishment. Mm. Right. For sure, what you know is the you're going to have water. Huh? Colored water. It's colored water. So you're dealing with colored water. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> right. And so this is a trick. If your instructor doesn't have you do something like this, but that's something that you can do yourself. If you see that you're going to be painting a much darker, like a light color over a darker color, you can do this if you want to get that bright pop. Yeah. Hi, Let's Maricha. See. Hi, Maricha. Somebody's here. Someone's here. You want to let them in? Right. So there we go. That's how we get that little frog foot. Yeah, and that's all it takes to get the little frog foot. Who's here? That's so exciting, isn't it? Hi, Maricha. How are you doing? Are you going to ping me after? I don't know who's here. It's like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. <laughs> but probably not as delightful. It would be really great if it was the AC guy. That's who I would really love to see right now. Or AC girl. No, no gender bias. I'll take a AC anyone that does AC. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> well, I was going to say AC guy, and then I realized that's a gender bias. It could be oh. an AC girl. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to make a little little foot top here that I know I'm going to have. And I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm going to make my long toe right here. And then my short toe. And then this toe is going to go off the canvas, isn't it? It does appear. Make your little circle. Draw in your little lines. The nice thing about kids chalk is, is if it doesn't, isn't working out, you can always erase it with a damp cloth. Now, it's important to make sure you're not using grease chalk. It is so important to make sure you're not using oil pastels. This has got to be like pastels, chalk pastels, or kids chalk. Yeah, powdery, right. powdery. No. And one thing I can test here is um, I'm going to just make sure that this is holding up. I'm going to get this. Can you erase it and not have a problem? All right. So right now I can promise you in a painting party scenario, you would be pulling up a huge amount of the paint. Yeah. And I didn't pull up any of the paint. That's another reason why I'm saying, yeah, the pigment load may not be as deep, but it's not lifting on me. Nice binders. It has, it has its binders are holding. The binders have held. What was it, John? <laughs> it's was it male? Yeah. <laughs> <There it is. laughs> She's going to get them. <laughs> <laughs> She's so being funny. She is. She's totally funny. So I'm just painting that in and making sure. So when I go to put the bright orange on there, it's going to feel bright orange. And the leaf isn't going to show through. And it's going to be really nice. Isn't that fun? Yeah. It's all it takes. So also because it's not lifting on me when I remove the chalk, you could probably get away with the brush varnish. Some of the really student paints, man, you cannot even brush varnish those. It's not even doable. You have to spray varnish them. You have to spray varnish them or they won't even play with you. Yeah. Now I'm going to go around my eye and I'm going to make sure my eye's all good. All right. I'm going to get my bright green. I'm just going to make sure that this line is clean because it got a little bit away from me there. And I'll recap today's art game words. You recap those They words. are wine glass, camel, bells, ball, and daisy. I'm going to say thank you to Lisa to make, she's making sure that those all get posted up in there. Oh, so Donna said that she went out to the Dollar uh, and Rowney website. Uh-huh. And uh, Rachel suggested using the site to find an art store near her. Uh-huh. And she just found an art store near her. <laughs> Excellent. That, that had the brushes. So she's See? like... See? Website. <laughs> <laughs> With customer service in mind. There you go. 
I'm like, just that wherever you live in the world, right? Like maybe you can get this paint, maybe you can get golden, maybe you can get Liquitex, but maybe you can get none of those. Or Matisse. Or Matisse. Because you may be in the other continent. But look for paint companies that give you a website. Yes. With information, a lot of information about their paint, a lot of chemistry about their paint, just tons and tons of information about their paint and how it works, like how much water it takes, how color fast it is, how they manufacture it, what their history is. Try to make sure they've been in business a minute. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it's exciting to see new products coming up, but you don't want to be the person that cuts your teeth on it. Yeah. Right? Especially if you've got um, any, any concerns about budget, because you can't maybe afford to go out and get another palette of paint. Mm -hmm. If they have a Facebook page, Twitter, and Instagram, I feel better about them because they're kind of hanging themselves out there. If they do something that you don't like, you could go comment there. So they're backing their product. Yeah. They're not hiding out. Right? They're, like, right out there. And then see, like, how they're answering people, like, what's the engagement on those sites. That These are all things that tell you a lot about how the company is and what your experience is going to be. Yeah. And then also remember, manufacturers are not retailers. That's absolutely true. And so you can have a big problem with a distributor, a retailer, and there isn't a big problem with that paint company. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, like, say you're at a company that isn't treating you all that well, and something is up with the paint, and you go to that company, and they tell you, oh, yeah, paint is supposed to look like cottage cheese. That's the one we all most commonly hear. Yeah. From the, <laughs> from the distributors, paint's supposed to look like cottage cheese. A lot of times, if you take pictures and you write the customer service department of the manufacturer, they will take care of you where your distributor will not. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing that you want because your paint company is your partner. That's your real art studio partner. And you need them to care about how, you are, how things work out for you. If that makes sense to everybody. Absolutely. Guys. And Rachel's out there doing a really nice job. She's answering a lot of questions in the channel and helping a lot of people out. So I really That's appreciate awesome. her showing up and helping out. That is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So it's and and I was just out here. I'm out actually chatting with the community. I'm I'm just so uh, awe. I'm in so, such awe of our community right now, because I, I was just chatting with some of our mods. We remember when we first started this out, and we were having you know 20, 30, 40 people show up. Uh huh. And you know we've now got 250 people out here, and it's just thank you guys so much for coming and being part of what we're doing. We really really appreciate it. Um. Again, thank you guys. I do. I appreciate it as well. You know, we're it's uh, I, I, I'm just you know, I get to see the chat more than Cinnamon does. Yes, and and so uh, well, and sometimes I'm over here going, "What's gonna happen? <laughs> what the paint canvas? shall I do next?" And John is he's more tapped in. So that's I I like that this experience where he can be that, and then I can be this, and then that way you guys get. A really good experience out of it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a thing where I'm gonna make just this little try, this like angular green sliver across the top of the foot. Yeah, this is important. Why is that important? I don't know because I looked at a bunch of red-eyed tree frogs. Oh, so like, um, if you'll notice, I listed graphic stock. That's where I got the reference images for these tree frogs. Oh, yeah. And um, so I looked at a bunch there and a bunch online, and um, my final tree frog model was from graphic stock. But um, I looked at a bunch of them, and they all have this slivering. The, the, the leg has some blue, which we wouldn't see on the feet, but it has this sliver of green. Huh. So if you have a tree frog fanatic in your life, I'm absolutely positive, having painted a long time and done a lot of commissions, don't miss the sliver. Because right. be, that'll be the thing the tree frog fan notices. So it's a weird thing. It's like when we did the Arcadia National Park thing with the fire. Oh, yeah. When John's like, the stars need to be like this. <laughs> Have you researched <laughs> enough nebula information? I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 I don't know about all that. I'm going to take um, my cad red and a little of my cad yellow. And I'm going to make a very... Almost, it's not burnt orange, but it's a very dark orange. And I'm going to start the feet off with this orange. 
We're going to come back with the cadmium orange, but I want to start the feed off with this. So it really pops. What's wonderful is the green and the red and orange are all contrast. Yeah. So they're going to naturally kind of pop from each other. If that makes sense. It does. So how how is that? It's, it looks like it's really a nice bright red. It's a bright red, and and has absolutely no environmental concerns that I know of. <laughs> well, that I know of. <laughs> that today. I know of. Well, no, I mean I love my true cadmium pigments. Yeah. And in my fine art, it's super important. I it makes a difference for me, like say in an art show. But um, for just regular life painting, there'd be no point to pay the extra money for it. Yeah. You know, unless you were super red sensitive in your eyes. Would you even notice it? And then it definitely, if you're painting with kids, you have to paint hue. Just for safety's sake. I mean, and don't eat paint. Don't test the safety of your paint by eating it. But, you know, with kids, absolutely. You want to paint hue. And if you're prone to allergies, you want to paint hue. Mm, yeah. So I'm just painting carefully over that white, giving this deep, rich color. And then as I pop the oranges up and everything, then it's going to be more and more. Mm -hmm. But that way the green, hair colorist right now, totally know why I did this. That way the green doesn't gray out my red. Uh, well, Betty just sent some really nice words saying thank you for uh, all of your time and effort and all the work we put in for the for these shows. It's my pleasure. It literally is. I love that so many people are painting. I love it. It's incredible. So thank you, Betty. Yeah, thank you very much, Betty. And I'm so excited how into the tree frogs you were. Tree frogs were literally 20 votes behind elephant. Yeah. And there were a lot of votes. Like the feelings were strong between mm -hmm. elephant and tree frog. That's how I knew I had to do both. I'm like, well, you know, elephant by nose. <laughs> but tree frogs were just sticking on, holding they, on. They so were hanging on by a toe. They were hanging on by a toe. I'm like, I better do both. <laughs> and I wanted a tree frog that um, everybody could paint. Yeah, and I, and I think that's that's been I, I really like how this this is very this looks very approachable. It is very doable for everybody, so everybody can get into the fun. And painting is so fun. You know, so we got the beginning of that, and guess what we get to do next? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm going to come in around his eye and I'm going to leave the deep purple outside but I'm going to be very lightly pulling in see how I'm leaving like a quarter inch yeah see now I feel bad because I can't I can't name some of our community members by name why because they've recruited other people at their office to watch <laughs> so <laughs> now we have mutual mutual outings when I'm like hey Mama, how's it going? She's like, shh, I'm at work and other people are watching. <laughs> <laughs> Jobs. Just wish you could be home in pain all day. Oh, wait, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't help it. It's too good. <laughs> so Linda actually asks a really good question. Okay, Linda, I love a good question. How long will an unopened tube of paint last on a show on a shelf uh you know what that is not something i know offhand i, I would probably either. go to a website to look that up i'd go i bet rachel might know i'm sure that each paint but she might not even know and it's probably by paint manufacturer yeah. like golden's gonna give you some answer like well we shot a tube of paint into space yeah 
And if you keep and it, in space, it lasts this long. But on the Sahara, it lasted this. You know, you know what yeah. I mean? Like they're going to take it someplace like that. Um, everybody has a different testing. Do you remember the resin guys who were like, we put our resin in the Arizona sun and everyone else's resin for a year? Can you imagine hiking along and like seeing a bunch of resin? <laughs> like, what's this about? I think there's just some paintings in somebody's backyard. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. You know. I'm just saying it gets weird up in there. So yeah. it's probably a paint by paint thing because again, they all have formulas. They all have different chemists working for them. Getting these pigments is like on another level. Like getting pigment is a big deal. Yeah. Like we learned that from the chameleon pen guy, how hard it is to get pigment. Yeah. For something. They have they have men, they have pigment hunters. They do. You think Indiana Jones was cool? And, and and I think it's a small group of color chemists that work in the paint industry, and I think they hoard their people. Yep. I imagine they're like I I don't know I see them as like trapped somewhere in a room unable to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm layering those depths of red into the eye, and it's going to give it that really deep eyeball look that everybody likes so much it's these layers that make the eyeball mm. now i'm going to come in and get a little of my orange here but i'm going to add a little yellow to it and a little white white okay so will help the pigment pick up i'm going to say goodnight to isabella in indonesia because i've been watching our analytics reports and noticing that we have viewers from all over the world that come in live and i wanted to say thank hi, you to some indonesia of them. oh my gosh hi Good night, Isabella. Good night, Isabella. Thanks for coming. That's so cool. I think that's pretty crazy. I want to come visit Isabella, too. Yeah. So I'm going to just pull a little bit of this paint, but I, I want some of the deep red underneath to totally show through. Does that make sense? Yeah. We don't want to lose it. Don't paint it entirely out. You want, you want layers like ogres. I'm just, this is such a Shrek-based painting anyways. Another song I wish we were playing on this show. Because mm. I love that movie, Shrek. So Ellen says that according to Liquitex, their, their site says five to seven years. Oh, That's see? interesting. Cause <laughs> That's Liquitex. So we'll have, to, we'll have to go look into some more of that a little later. But I'm, I, it, it's probably really a paint-by-paint paint company. Here's the storage, thing. Storage, yeah. If they don't store it right, if they let it get hot or they let it get cold, if the distributors let it get some crazy temperature... Then all bets are off, anyways. Yeah, so making sure you have good fresh paint that's been sto stored in a cool, dry yeah. place. Yeah, it's not supposed to come out like cottage cheese. It's supposed to be like warm butter. Yeah. Like so far, you'll notice that all of these tubes are like warm butter. Yep. Actually, that's been really nice. I've been noticing that. Yeah. Now I I did I did get them fresh off the presses from Rachel. So. Well, yes, and that's how you should expect your paint. It is how you should expect your paint. And um, that's that's the job of the distributors. That is the job. I feel that's the job. I may be wrong. And the retailers get you that paint in, in good a shape. fresh quality, uh, not frozen, not superheated. Acrylic paint does not like wide ranges of temperature. Not that any paint does. Like I'm not thinking like egg tempera or encaustic also wants a wide range of temperature either. Yeah. So, you know. These aren't glazes for pottery. So you can kind of see how that layering creates a brightness. Right? Yeah. I'm going to get some of my red and orange. Red and orange. Because I want some brightness here. And I'm going to... On, and this is on the edge of my brush. Start pulling some of this in here on the eye. Try and again get those layers. This is where the eyes really work, and this is something that you can totally work out no matter what level of painting you're at. This extra little time in the eye is possible for everybody. On this, I'm curving the bright towards where I know the pupil's gonna be mm -hmm. to create that implied shape. And you can already sort of see how. There's some orbiness happening. Ooh. And we want orbiness. Now I'm going to put out my fluid paint. I, I do the golden fluids, but listen, anybody's fluid soft body paint will work. This is just what I happen to have in my studio today, and I needed some. <laughs> and it Which works I, well. Huh? And it works well. And it works well, but here's my deal. That's pretty much everybody's art studio. You should have a whole bunch of stuff yeah. based on sales and things in your studio. Oh, something people don't know is... 
this acrylic paint would work with my golden, you know what I mean? These acrylics all mostly mix. There's, it's very rare you would ever have an interaction between paint companies. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do golden opens in everybody. That's yeah. the one that's supposed to dry really slowly. But acrylic paints are interchangeable. <laughs> And, you know, we, we, we do have a lot of, you know, I wanted to make sure that, you know, if you have any questions, make sure you email that customer service contact yeah. at your paint manufacturer. Yeah. That's the person to go to because they have, they yeah. have a whole team there. And, and experts. Yeah. Just total experts. And it's fantastic. And listen, this is a lot of good companies. I've talked about Mod Podge being a good company because mm -hmm. y'all made me get to know Mod Podge because you kept saying, can I varnish with Mod Podge? No. No, don't varnish from Marge Podge. That's officially from Marge Podge, but they make a varnish. Talked to me for such a long time. Yeah. Such a great customer line. They didn't even know who I was. They just talked to me. There are good companies out there. I'm going to make a line straight down the middle of the eye. But I'm going to leave about a half inch, uh, just under, you know, a little under a half inch. You can kind of tell when you see the slit. Now, this is funny. Like, right now, you'll have seen a frog with an eye slit down that much. Mm -hmm. That's a mad frog. Our <laughs> frog's happy. <laughs> Let's not paint a mad frog. That's also a mad bird. If your bird makes a teeny tiny pupil at you, run. Oh, yeah. <laughs> run. He's going to get you. He's smarter than you, and he's going to get you. <laughs> Especially if it's like an Amazon anything. Yeah. If it's a parrot from the Amazon and his pupils are small, you have messed up. <laughs> Apologize. Give him a treat. Something. Yep. So this is sort of like um, a leaf shape, a squishy, pointy football shape. <laughs> You're just trying to make this little pupil shape here. This is also the good basis for a good dragon eye, if you guys ever want to work on dragon eyes. <laughs> yeah. This applies as well. There you go. Now I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to make the little slit, which again, right, think about it. Mm -hmm. You've seen a frog with, like, that slit. He's narrowing his perspective. He's checking you out. But we're going to say right now he's just a super relaxed frog. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm on my leaf. Things are good. I'm not that worried about it, says Mr. Frog. We're almost done, guys. I'm not that worried about it, he says. I'm good. <laughs> this is a happy leaf. You can relax. I can relax. We can all relax. This is a safe forest. Here's a here's a, a, a interesting anecdote about proper safe uh, paint storage. Mm -hmm. So Tara purchased her first acrylics that was from Dollar and Rowney Paints about oh. seven years ago at a yard sale, okay. and she oh, she's only had one of the eight tubes go bad, and she's painting with them today. So, uh, you know. Did you hear that, Rachel? That is really cool. <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> there you go. Snapshot that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Tara, thank you. See, that to me, that means a lot. Yeah. That's right? good to know. When you can open up an art material like at seven years that you purchased at a yard sale, that is a good sign. Uh, yeah. It's a good sign. I'm kind of blown away. Huh. All right. I'm going to keep working this little eye here. So now I'm going to get some just red. And I'm going to pull some Just Red across this. Just Red, pulling it around. I want that just to pop. Just some red. Just red. Just the red. We like it. Because this is a red-eyed frog. And the green-eyed frog or blue-eyed frog, this is red-eyed frog. He needs red eyes. Yeah. These red, red eyes. And I'm just pulling just the redness. I'm using my brush stroke here, curving it to imply this round shape. Because, you know, you got to get kind of out of your head that you're painting an eye. What you are is painting a really complicated ball. Hmm. <laughs> it's really what you're doing. Pull some just orange. Just your orange. Just start pulling that in there. Just some orange. Just some orange. I mean, you can even get a little white on your orange. White. Just some orange. Yeah, that just, just a little bit. A lot. Because it needs to be a red eye. But you're, you're creating some dimensionality. That looks really neat. Into the eye. And that's what you want. For some reason, I'm thinking of Invader Zim. 
You know what? Because it totally looks like that. It's my totally tallest. Got some zim you eyes. would be the ruler of that planet, my tallest. <laughs> <laughs> People with kids are like, ah, ha, ha. actually, some of us just watched it. I didn't even have kids when we watched it, so let's just own that right now. I didn't even have kids when I was watching the Zim. Gur was like the best character ever. He really was. I'm going to take a little yellow and a little white. I'm loading it up. This is a number two. I really like this little number two. And just around the people here, I'm going to just dust a little of this out. comes out just a smidge. You see that? Just a little bit. Pressure's light. You'll notice I'm making a bridge with my hand. My painting is dry, so I can do that, and the drum oh, is nice. pretty tight. So the chances I'm going to damage it are slim, and I like to stabilize my hand. You can buy a fancy bridge. Look at that. Look at that pop. Mm -hmm. I'm going to kind of come around here with just a little bit dusting of this light color here. Show and then we're gonna pull this out right here. What are you playing? Audie was like, Where's my dance music? And I was like, All right, Hi, that's what's going on. Hopefully, you guys all like the hook thing. That was crazy how weird that got with that watercolor pad. Now it's on. Like, I'm gonna figure yeah. out how to solve that pad and I'm gonna get the watercolors of my dreams out of that paper. That's happening. It started it with me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's, it, it's a challenge, and I have said, challenge accepted. <laughs> so I have nice little... Those are nice. Little eyeball happening here, right? So... Make sure I got my little red sort of circled around. I wouldn't want the white. This... Just make sure that that's good. This, this hat makes me feel re very reminiscent. So how many hoots is this painting? This painting is really a hoot. It's it's just it's just a little hoot. It's just a little hoot. This is really this is no harder than the Van Gogh sunflowers at all. No harder than the Van Gogh sunflowers. No harder than any of the owls. This is right on par with that. Gotcha. I'm gonna pull a little of my orange and white, and I'm going to come and make a little highlight right there, and then up the what would be the foot, and then around right here, a little highlight at the toe again. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It is. It's so cool. And honestly, all we have left is a reflection. Really? Oh, and a shadow under a foot. Nice. We definitely want to put the shadow. One of the things that happens a lot of times, you guys are like, it doesn't quite work, and I don't know why. It's usually the shadow un under the object that anchors uh -huh. it that you've forgotten. Other than that, the painting is just perfect. So see, I've gotten the highlights on the little feet. I'm looking for my highlight little space, maybe... Maybe a little more white there, and see? Yeah. Now what you can do is you can take a little of your burnt sienna over to your ultramarine. It'll still be blue, but it'll be a bluish gray. And then just under your foot here, you know, glaze a little shadow. And in this particular case, the fact that it's a little translucent is awesome for us because it creates a perfect shadow. And then come here and do the same thing. Little shadow. It just, it does make a difference. That little anchor yeah. will make it feel like those feet are really on that leaf. It really does. And you want your anchor. You want your anchor, you want, you want that space, right? Mm -hmm. See, this is just totally doable. You can do this with your friends and family or your kids. So today's art words were wine glass, camel, bells, ball, and daisy. <laughs> How could that possibly go wrong? I don't know. <laughs> Just make sure you got your little shadow there. Right? Now, the last bit that makes him feel totally real, totally awesome are the last highlights. I want you to take just a little, just a little of your yellow and white, but mostly white. It's hard to get sometimes. What are you doing there? 
I'm trying to get a very almost white but not quite white and then I'm gonna just the top here of his nose and maybe a little bit we're gonna say he's a little bit white at the top of there and then see how it's just a little yeah just a little highlight it's a thing that you can do if you don't want to do it you don't have to just want a little bit of shine so it's like kind of a glaze kind of curve at the top of the nose just at the top gives it a little shine and I'm gonna pull out some just white oh. on my brush okay and then I'm going to a little over dry brush that reflection on. Oh yeah. Guess what we're almost done with? Tree frog. Almost done with a tree frog? Uh-huh. Oh wow. I'm really happy that you did the frog. I am too. Look at him. There's the two reflections on his beautiful, gorgeous eyes. He's a little shiny. He's got his little leavies. He's happy. Hopefully you guys are super happy at home, kind of blown away by how well you did. That's my goal. They thought it was there. Everyone's loving it. Can't wait to see the tree frogs. You're gonna, people are going to come to your houses because I know how many of you do so many of the paintings. They're going to be like elephants and chickens and tree frogs. They're going to be like, do you like some animals around here? Little crazy abstract pugs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I, <laughs> you enjoying the dance? I can hear the jams, too. Can you hear the jams? I can hear the jams. Everybody can hear the It's jam. your morning, Tom. You can dance if you want to. No one's home to see. If you're in your cubicle at work, just quietly pop it a little bit. Nobody will notice. For those of you who can, who, I can, I can do the robot back here, my button pushing robot skills. He actually is. All right. So we're all dancing today. Thank you guys for joining us today. We love you guys so much and appreciate you coming. And I have to appreciate, thank, say thank you to the moderators and the entire community. And we appreciate you liking, commenting, and subscribing. Sharing is the is the awesomest thing in the world to do because it helps let get the word out. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your time. And I'm so glad you chose to be optimistic about your potential today. I know you can do this tree frog. All the little brushes, thank you for hitting along. All the people at work quietly watching along. Everybody, thank you so much for coming. We're going to see you at the easel really soon, like tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> Bye-bye.